Los Angeles has its share of multi-million dollar mansions. The city is also dealing with the homelessness problem. And how we to solve that problem is the idea behind the mansion tax that goes into effect tomorrow on sales of properties five million dollars or more. And new at five o'clock, I would just use where Rob Hayes looks at the potential impact of this new tax. If you're lucky enough to own a home worth more than $5 million, then come Saturday, well, you'll be a little less lucky, at least if your house is in Los Angeles. That's because on April 1st, LA's so-called mansion tax kicks in. USA! Supporters of the new tax celebrating in Koreatown today. That money is gonna raise much needed funding for affordable housing and tenant protection. Here's how the mansion tax will work. Home sellers will have to pay an extra 4% tax on property sales over $5 million. If your home is over $10 million, the tax goes up to 5.5%. For high-end real estate brokers, the rush to close deals before Saturday has been really crazy. David Kramer is the president of Hilton and Highland, a company that deals in homes well north of $10 million. The hit on a property at that price would be more than half a million dollars. LA voters approved the tax last November, passing Measure ULA, designed to raise about $900 million for affordable housing and homelessness-related projects. The upside is the city hopefully being able to better manage the, uh, the homeless challenge. But Kramer is worried the tax may actually backfire because it doesn't just apply to mansions. It also applies to apartment complexes, which the city wants more of. But Kramer says if developers are hit with millions more in taxes, they're going to stop building these. Add another 5% onto the equation. A lot of times the margins are very thin. If they don't have the incentive to build and people aren't going to build for a loss, we're going to have less housing. But a 2022 UCLA study of the mansion tax looked at those concerns and determined the tax's potential impacts to new construction would be very limited. Still, real estate professionals say the tax hit will scare apartment complex developers out of the city. When you include the tax, plus commissions, plus other taxes, Potential sellers are looking at 11%, and that is a lot of money. With millions of dollars at stake and the clock ticking down for sellers of homes like these, this year's April Fool's Day is no joke. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Rob Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.